सो वेलकम एवरी वन एंड थैंक यू फॉर ज्वाइनिंग लेट स्टार्ट so i think we have to start from uh, page 17 inner transformation and the physical resistance yeah anybody who wants to read it out maybe i think this uh, till this point we can take this up this whole bit I could read Monica. Yeah, please. Inner transformation and the physical resistance. The mother, the mother. The force that comes down into one who is doing yoga and helps him in his transformation acts along many different lines and its results vary according to the nature that receives it. and the work to be done first of all it hastens the transformation of all in the being that is ready to be transformed if he is open and receptive in his mind the mind touched by the power of yoga begins to change and progress swiftly there may be the same rapidity of change in the vital consciousness if that is ready or even in the body but in the body the transforming power of yoga is operative only to a certain degree for the receptivity of the body is limited the most material plane of the universe is still in a condition in which receptivity is mixed with a large amount of resistance but rapid progress in one part of the being which is not followed by an equivalent progress in other parts produces a disharmony in the nature a dislocation somewhere and wherever or whenever this dislocation occurs it can translate itself into an illness the nature of the illness depends upon the nature of the dislocation one kind of disharmony affects the mind and the disturbance it produces may lead even as far as insanity another kind affects the body and may show itself as fever or prickly heat or any other greater or minor disorder yeah thank you so the thoughts are welcome any reflections well um i could start i it's interesting i was just kind of randomly reading parts of the book because i put it on my kindle you know and so i just kind of go to different pages and i just read this actually yesterday um and it yeah it left me going like wow i mean of course 
it's very profound and there's a sense of like well how do i um you know can i get to some kind of depth in myself or some kind of awareness with prayer to her so that i get clear you know where is the dislocation or where is it that one part is somehow not keeping up with another or you know so i just noticed how mind and the mental wanted to figure it out and do something about it and sort it out and <laughs> um but yeah it it just somehow sits as completely true like of course a lot of things but in particular for me at this point as i face some health things of like yes you know it resonates as a, at a vibrational level as true that's some that's something that's going on right now and i realized like that insanity bit at first when i read it, i was like oh my god you know that sounds a bit scary uh, but then i realized it's just even to the point when the mind like just now what i was describing was just quite a like a contem contemplative thought process but at other times when i if i start to worry or start to run around in my head for solutions of what to do around my health, then it starts to feel like insanity, even to that level, you know? I realize like even the speed of thoughts can start to feel a little bit like this is crazy making that way. So I, I hear, hear mothers talking about the possibility of in complete insanity, you know, but uh, I was just relating to that word <laughs> in terms of busyness of thoughts, you yeah. know? Yeah, thank you for sharing, yes. Yeah, anyone else, any thoughts? Uh, yeah, uh, here and even in the last paragraph, you know how it says that it has to be transformation of all in the being that is ready to be transformed. You know, we often come across this question that if all is his will, then what exactly do I do, right? Do I really need to do anything? Because whatever needs to be done, it will be done. You know, that passivity, but that's never the case. You know, it's like there's so much that I actually can do, which I know is good for me, but I don't do because I just keep getting distracted or attracted somewhere else. But this, that the force also cannot do anything if I am not ready, if I am not open to be transformed. So I'm already so full that how will it, you know, fill me up so this thing just again indicating that I have such a big role to play in all this because weirdly enough I could think that it's all just you know how I don't need to kind of aspire actively because mother knows I don't need to pray because mother knows you know the mind gives you those reasoning at times so not to follow that, right? Not to fall for that because whatever I can in my limited means, you know, the next step, the next step, the next step, if I'm sincere, I see what my next step is. I might choose to ignore it, but then that is me being lazy or that is me being ruled again by my patterns and comfort. But there's always that next step that I know can do to make me a little bit more open for things. Yeah, I, that, that's it. Thank you. Yes, yes. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, any further reflections or thoughts?
so i think uh, this i think this thing comes again and again uh, with especially mothers and shurub in those words and also at other places that this has to be the first because it is easier to transform uh, mind and vital uh, relatively they are more one can say refined forms of consciousness and that is why uh, we have to begin with transforming our thoughts transforming our feelings turning them all towards more and more purity and then you know uh, usually uh, the body consciousness would get affected so this has uh, come several times and uh, mother also i think last time we were sharing that uh, mother also shares that when we try to work at the food level for those of us who want to turn satvik in food but their thoughts and feelings are gross <clears throat> so many a times it happens that the body is not ready uh, it has not gotten refined and more purer because of the influence of purified mind purified mind, vital is not there so uh, it may be that uh, you actually become malnourished because the body is still gross and you are trying to as if impose satvicity on the body so first there has to be a refinement uh, in the psychic psychic in the sense that revelation of the psychic and tuning all our thoughts all our feelings in that ideal of the psychic the psychic mirror in front and many a times we do get confused that how do i know psychic is open or not i think basically it's very simple if we don't make it too complicated that just to we all have discerning intelligence and with that discerning intelligence we know when a thought is impure and pure you know, we all know so it's very basic that just to see okay how about this thought you know would i play where would i place this is this with good will ill will is this with jealousy ambition greed lust so it's very easy to discern if only we look at it so that's how all the feelings all the thoughts have to purify themselves and then usually later the body consciousness can get worked upon it's almost like i feel uh, like how there is a curtain and then how there is a stone so curtain if you want to make the curtain you know wet drip 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 drops of water it's easier but when you put the same drops on stone you know it doesn't reach the core of the stone it will just erode the surface and although it's still affecting the stone but the effect is so minimal because of the hard and you know hardness and resistance of the stone so the body consciousness is almost you know uh, relatively just kind of giving it a visual that uh, mind and vital are more refined forms of consciousness so it's easier relatively again relatively speaking to approach to purify them and then slowly comes the task of uh, transformation of the body it's good to keep working on i think parallelly uh, especially if we want to do yoga you know also want to transform the body consciousness remove all the fear turn all the cells to the divine you know and uh, i don't think it can be done without the process of continued purification continued purification because we see that there is so much still sticking so much no matter how much further we have come from you know what we were still so much is sticking still so much is sticking so i think it's like we have a close microscopic eye to our own self and it sees all the muck getting accumulated keeps on cleaning it you know doesn't let it accumulate yeah so as uh, taru was sharing that this openness i think this is our part to be open and there i think uh, there was something with the mother i was reading which exactly matched what kabir ji says about uh, he says data nadiyan ek sam sab kahu ko de jiske jaisa kumbh ho waisa hi bhar le so in english it would be guru the master or the divine uh, and also the rivers they are all alike because they just are open to give to anyone 
but the kind of container you have the size of container the kind of container you have based on that you will be getting so i think again and again we have to look uh, at our own what is blocking you know uh, we begin to block and mother last time i think i had read this passage for all of us where mother is sharing that it's almost like grace is like present like air but uh, it's only in few moments mother says that at times you feel oh you know something i felt <laughs> so mother says it's not that you felt only in that moment something was there no in that moment you were open you know so in that openness you felt grace usually we are so lost and blocked in our thoughts and you know ideas about life that there is a big wall insulating wall about around us and the grace and we are not able to feel it so that's what mother was sharing that it's like almost like how space is intimate with us we are very intimate with space and that's how grace divine love is intimate with us if only we and we are open to sense it and not busy sensing all the other things <laughs> so yeah i think that is why you know again and again this stress on being in the present moment right like how will i know what is around me if i am never here right like because if there is a stillness if you are still it's almost impossible not to feel that expansion right like and yet i don't feel it very often so that means i mean you know hence proof like we are intelligent people that when i pause i know things are bigger than me but i have such limited episodes when i have felt it directly that things are bigger than me so now that i know that i am never here to feel it i can try better i can try better right because the thing is that we keep on looking at big things right okay i am talking about a third person i don't mean disrespect i don't mean anything bad and yet when i am talking there is a underlying thing that i know better or this could be done that way and still that person is doing it this way you know do whatever things that are going on so just stopping at you know these small 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 red lights that we keep just crossing 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 because we feel there is no fine right but the fine that we are paying of impurity and unnecessary going so so the trans you know somehow when we see these words like transformation openness again i just i know i mean you know i've said this before but that was a revelation for me that it's never the big thing it's the small things that lead to the big thing if ever but my job is in the small in the petty in the everyday moment to moment where am i what where why am i speaking this why am i thinking this you know the removing the unnecessary dramas if at all you know whatever i can whatever i see that's enough that takes me more that shows me more yeah thank you so i think um, along with progress producing an illness many a times uh, we also most of the times i would say we also produce an illness where the it's almost like every signal we are getting that we are going as you were sharing you know we are jumping red lights and we are just going the wrong way but we don't listen to those signals so since we don't listen to the 
subtler signals the body produces a grosser signal that how, how would it you know it cannot speak it cannot use words so it must use something to indicate that boss something is wrong you know not the right road so i think this is very beautiful that we have this indicator otherwise we would go the wrong way and be dead and we won't even know that the wrong way was being embarked, embarked upon so it's almost like the simplest exam example here is that when you put your hand in fire the body says no by pain it it burns it says please remove the hand how would it say no so when uh, we are leading a life with full of impurities you know a life uh, full of lots of chaos basically you know and even if there is a pinch of aspiration in the being towards something purer and yet i am continuing to live a life of impurity you know i think uh, there we create a disharmony and the body tells by producing a disease now you would see i think mother also shares that you would see that people who are most settled in the material consciousness like they have no higher aspiration they are very happy eating living for whatever you know day by day nothing really they want to they don't even talk about human purpose in existence you know why are we here no nothing doing with that just daily consumption and all that is enough such kind of people they are very settled in material consciousness and for them it's not that easy to fall ill <laughs> so it's you know <laughs> so it's strange as if you know you are being punished to for your aspiration but it's not a punishment it's actually you know the body telling that hey you you wanted pure you know purity in the being and here am i telling you that something is amiss so we can be grateful for that signal because there is even a bit of a being if it ever ever has aspired for something higher some divine you know then the moment there are impurities and we are embarking upon continuing to walk this path of impurity in thoughts and feelings you know lots of chaos then the body will tell which is i think a very good blessing otherwise we won't stop yeah and along with that this is also true that many of you know many a times there are experiences where some awakening has happened in the being but the body is not able to take it so you enter into an illness you know mother also shares that she put a force into some person when in ashram and he was winning the sports something uh, but he was not able to take up that much of force so he fell ill because of that so uh, the purity that kind of container is not ready yet you know fully so that's why mother says don't pull divine grace in you because that can be dangerous we don't know how much the container is ready so she says open yourself to me like in a relaxed openness you know mother i give myself so continue giving yourself to me but don't pull the divine grace that can be dangerous because if somebody pulls strongly you know we don't know uh, what would happen and also you know i think it's such a big blessing that we know within this lifetime mother's name shyorbindo's name and somehow there is so much contentment and fulfillment with their words and you know remembering them that i wonder at times that why would i want to pull something is this not enough <laughs> it seems like more than enough but yet you know we approach divine from all the sides so we approach divine through ambition we approach divine to through a want of spiritual realization you know so there are many ways in which we approach the divine so it can happen that in that want that you have read about and this is how these kind of realizations come you know these kind of chakras open and all that kundalini and all that so you can pull you know, it can happen in a fit of ambition we can pull yeah
I think regarding insanity, <laughs> I don't know, I wonder actually, I feel at times that we are all insane, relative degrees of insanity. <laughs> so really. Not related to this, where mother is talking, this context is maybe something different, but yeah. I think we are all relatively insane. When Whenever we stick to our own rigid, you know, knowings and perceptions and there's something else about this whole insane thing um I, byron katie she'll often use that word like if you're, if you're looking at a situation that causes a lot of stress or disharmony with somebody else um and you you know look at it without your story you know, without the judgments, all that in the question of who would you be without the thought. And you just really kind of look at that person, like with the eyes of God or the eyes of the psychic as best as you can. Then you see that both the other and yourself in that moment were insane. It's like not sane, not able to see things from a calm, quiet um yeah, a place which has compassion, any of the psychic qualities basically just coming from ego and and the kind of darker side of the vital. So I like that too, of like coming back to just some kind of peace and being able to see a situation and others and yourself with some wideness and and uh, with some grace and some peace. That's coming back to sanity, you know. It's always been helpful for me. Yeah, thank you, yes. Yeah, anything until here or shall we move ahead? just to clarify because it's a very important thing that comes again and again right that if one part of the being is not progressing like the other part or stuff and i remember you know reading a lot of kind of not lot of but some horror stories about especially westerners doing meditation that how they actually turned insane and how those examples were used that one must not meditate or there must be a restraint one must follow. So, again, this is coming to the pulling thing, right? Like, I not knowing what will take me where. When I say, say for example, if I delve into the chakras and I just go crazy about it, right? That this, 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 this. I don't know if this awakens actually. Where will this lead me? So, keeping the mother the divine with oneself that, okay, I'm doing this, offering that, and just op keep, keeping on opening ourselves, right? Like mother says that, say, when you sleep, right? You could just say that I'm sleeping, protect me, right? So just that thing would probably not lead us here. That's what it's saying, right? That if I grasp, I don't know what I will bring along and what it would do to me. So in every movement, if I am with the mother, then probably this this harmony would not happen, right? That's the thing. Yeah, okay. Yeah, actually, you know, Alokda shares this beautifully. <clears throat> so he was asking that, he was sharing in one of the talks that uh, everybody usually may be asking you for an identity card, you know, okay, show show me who you are, show me who you are. But if you're walking with the Divine Mother, nobody would dare to ask for an identity card, you know. So that kind of safety we have, that we really don't need any other label to ourselves when we have the company of true company, genuine company. It's not only in theory, but we are with her throughout. I think then re really slowly all the fears, even regarding this disharmony or, you know, all has to melt away, yeah. It has to, yes. 
इट्स ऑलमोस्ट लाइक यू नो आई फील मेनी अ टाइम्स वी मे बी ऑन अ जर्नी एंड द जर्नी मे नॉट गो वेल अकॉर्डिंग टू वॉट वी प्लान बट इफ वी हैव अ फ्रेंड विद अस you know like a good companion then we don't bother about whether it happened with the plan or you know not against the plan or you know totally in tune with where we were supposed to stay because the company itself is so much it's it's you know enough and whether it happens according to some plan or not happen or some tragedy happens in between or you know some adventure happens in between then all is taken in stride stride because you have good company you know and that's all that matter so with mother i think just to share a lab kind of a metaphor <laughs> that as if we have such good company that now it doesn't matter you know it really is that company is enough that company is enough but the point is that i may say this that yes i have mother's company but many a times it just remains a mental thing and we are still standing by the side of our own weaknesses and fueling them wanting something from them so i think that honesty of course each person individually has to see nobody else can see within so i may say i am with the mother but i constantly should be honest that there are times when i fall for uh, things and their mother is not enough so i i just have to be honest and again sharing that with the mother <laughs> so yeah yeah anything more here before we progress ahead Um, this word purity, I feel like that's come up a few times recently for me, and I'm often left real realizing, like, wow, I I don't fully know what that is. You know, there's that level at which what you just mentioned, for example, of just being really honest. You know, am I really choosing the mother or the yoga or the psychics way, or am I actually secretly choosing something else? You know, or choosing a vital egoic need. um there's the obvious ones like purifying okay when i see i have fear in me or or anger but i feel like there's a subtle level to purifying and you know purity of aspiration purity of just the whole in in so many aspects of the yoga right i was thinking even her symbol if you go to each and every petal of her symbol then each each of those qualities can be purified but it's it's so vast right um so yeah so just curious if you or others have something to say around what is it this purifying and you know in everyday life or in actions yeah yeah any thoughts anyone Yeah, so yeah. uh it in yeah similar uh, you know questions uh, come to me also i wonder when uh, you know we are acting uh, out, you know uh, we are yeah, acting out of our uh, psychic being or so you think you know like you're uh, trying to you know like follow your psychic being uh, would it always be easy uh because see that there is this inner voice which tells you that you do this and you follow that but uh, along with that there is also a lot of ego battle continuously going on so you put forth your uh, inner voice and you act according to that but parallelly a lot of uh, you know like things that the ego doesn't leave you matlab somewhere wo uh you know like uh, you feel good about you know following the path or you know like day to day me like how you do it the same time bahut uh, uh, i feel uh, ye, uh, my question is when you follow your psychic being are you always like uh, in a space of ease or 
because i again i am not sure uh, you know it it is so confusing uh, you think you are right but uh, you really don't know where you are going and uh, what, what, is it the mother leading you guiding you or is it your you know uh, it, it you still know where you know in this journey so you still need that uh, assurance uh, am i clear <laughs> i don't know but uh no mother shares uh, that first of all you can be really sure about it and please relax because it's psych with psychic coming even in a, a bit in front it's that the there is relatively a sense of a knowing which is coming forward which tells you oh this word was maybe not necessary you know it's like it's coming forward now earlier it was not even there so now it's taking a frontal seat in between even in glimpses so maybe you think a thought and there is this knowing which comes up and says you know not really necessary you can reject that thought you know falling into a space of maybe you know uh, some jealousy jealousy comparison with each other and there is a knowing which jumps up and says you know not the ni- nice way to go ahead you know so what happens is mother says ease and unease so it's not that you're always easy when the psychic is coming front in fact you can actually become more uneasy why because earlier we you were totally identified with your patterns ego patterns so there was no confusion you know who else is there but the ego patterns life is ruled by the ego there is no duality <laughs> but here now there is somebody which is arising now which is the consciousness this knowing aspect the discerning aspect which now says okay right direction wrong direction so now there is bound to be more turmoil actually because there is some supervision there you know you are getting detached and trying to disidentify from the ego patterns which were only ruling before that knowing came up into the being but the good thing is that there is a sense of unease or suffering when you enter into patterns again because you are not now used to living by those patterns right so generally there is a sense of ease which with one can operate the moment you again slip into that pattern old pattern you know or listen to its dictate suffering comes back again unease comes back again with which you know you can sense that oh you know this is where i have to step back so i think uh, don't to uh, not to get trouble that uh, would it be all easy no and shorobindo shares that ego takes a long long time long long time so forget about ego dissolving we can actually forget forget about that for the moment we can just talk about being vigilant and knowing which is the right direction for us to take just like with our discerning intelligence we know whether a thought is good bad or ill will or good will good heart vastness openness suffocation all of this we get to know so you know relying on that inner discerning intelligence and for for now we can actually forget about ego dissolution <laughs> we we just have to know that it is going to be there you know just making like friends with it and knowing uh, when it's arising and showing its head up so just being a vigilant guard is enough <gasps> yeah yeah thank you <laughs> yeah mm. yeah taru you wanted to share something sub uh, when swapna was sharing yeah thank you i just on what ashweta just said you know i was re- re- that there was this in upanishad commentaries once they had given this example that you know a sadhak's life is the most challenging and he has the maximum failures like because you know his battle is moment to moment like his vigilance is every minute every second every moment so you know compared to a warrior compared to anybody else who's doing something they still have occasions right but if you have to be on guard every moment the amount of failures and challenges that you face are every moment you know how mother says that earlier you're not sensitive so you don't realize your battles your challenges 
but the more you progress the more sensitive you become and it feels that oh my god life is so tough right it could feel and yet you are given that ease that you know it's all right like you are given the challenges that you always had but now you can see them and now you're given the discernment and that ease that you know that too doesn't matter that's all right so it comes together so one should never feel kind of you know low that oh no it seems too hard yes it is hard but along with that hardness i have the company i have the one who is driving my car as they say Yeah. yeah, thanks, Taru. Yeah, and you know uh, what, uh, Shweta was uh, sorry, Sapna, that glorification thing. You know what really struck me a couple of months back. You know, I heard, I read this quote from Shri Aurobindo that the only work that spiritually purifies us is the work which is done without personal motive. You know, there is no me that you know this. very subtle i don't know commentary that's always running in my brain what will i get you know somehow i think even in childhood only you know you always ask the child you know and what did you get okay you know you exchange this car with your friend okay which car did you get you exchange this pokemon card with your friend which card you know like this thing is put in us right that i have to get that's my win that's my win and it doesn't leave us so no matter what we are doing there's this even it could be really really small right so this has to be offered you know this has to be first recognized that no matter what i'm doing it will not purify me it will again be another burden on my thing if i am doing it for that it will again be a rat race covered in the robe of spirituality or progress if that thing is still standing and saying that what will i get you know i am still the beggar with the bowl now begging inside the temple for example so just for me that really shifted something and gave me a lot more things to consider right to watch for what is the intention what are you looking for in this are you sure are you sure nothing right like kind of a thing and if you see something then just offering that see again i have picked up the bowl and i can keep it down i don't need it i don't need a big bowl so that in terms of purification that had helped me thank you Yeah, thanks, Taru. That was, I mean, thanks everyone. Uh, that's all really helpful. But yeah, that specific thing, it's it's true. Because I was just gonna say also to Shweta's comment, it links in what you just said, Taru, and with the whole thing about how sometimes, um, I feel like following what seems like a higher way. I don't know if it's a psychics, but at least it's something a little bit less disinterested. Is still pretty scary. you know and then it can feel like oh following this higher way doesn't always feel so easy you know that it doesn't have ease and flow it's actually leaves me doing something new in a more disinterested way or something that that is stepping into the unknown leaving it to the mother can feel like free fall and pretty scary yet i realize then that's the personal personal motive it's like oh i'm I'm stepping off the cliff. I'm in free fall. I don't know what's going to happen next because I'm doing something new, and yet I'm going to be okay, right? Because otherwise, that personal desire is like, but I want to feel safe, or I want to know and have an assurance that she's going to, you know, give me something good at the end. That kind of thing, you know, or or this new new behavior pattern is going to give me a health benefit, for example, right? But instead, just to do it because. it's the healthier option or i'm going to try it a different way and the health movement often for me recently it's been like a you know a vital change of gear it's like i'm going to react in a different way or i'm not going to say something um and then ego wants to pop up and so but you didn't state your point of view or you didn't stand up for yourself 
But in that moment, it's like the battle in staying silent is just that I'm wanting her to somehow assure me beforehand that I will come out okay. But actually, yeah, it's just about doing it for the sake of doing the right thing. So yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah. You know, ego is equals to clinging. We have to know that what you were sharing, you know, that it's not fine with the free fall. That, oh, I have nothing to hold on to. So I think we have to slowly recognize and gradually really be assured that this clinging thing that arises in us from time to time, it's just not our true self. And when I'm listening to the dictates of clinging and hence wanting to hold on, actually it's a life of slavery. I'm living as a slave to the ego consciousness. It's not my true self. It's not, clinging self is not my true self. And that's why mother talks of stepping back from the surface consciousness. Because surface one is always sticking, always sticking, wanting to stick to something, what you were sharing. What will I get, you know, what Taru was talking about, the begging bowl. What will I get? Will I get my health back? Always worried, always, you know. It's just never, cannot, cannot, cannot ever be content. So that's the hallmark of ego consciousness. And once I know that, oh, you know, these are the hallmarks, these are the signs and symptoms of ego consciousness, I think then I can actually step back because now there is an intention in me to step into my true consciousness. And what you were sharing that, if I do this and this, then I'm going to be okay. What I'm actually saying is that my body is going to be okay, right? Because that's a complete identification of ourselves with the body that we are usually into. That if my health is okay, I am okay. But that's not true. That's not true. We are more than our body feelings and thoughts. We are not our instrument. We are beyond our instrument. So again, we have to, I think this, what was being shared in the beginning, it's a moment to moment right choice that has to be done. We will slip many a times. We will fall many a times. Of course, there are tight patterns that really take us unattended, but we will get up again and again, disidentify, disengage from the begging consciousness, clinging consciousness, which is the ego consciousness. Always focused on itself, always. And that's how we initially approach the spiritual path also. What will I get if I be with the mother? For, for it, it, it's not enough to just be with the mother. I mean, we can be grateful, but no. What will I get if I remember the mother? What will I get if I don't react according to my old patterns? So I think there has to be a coming home to ourselves uh, through all this. And I feel that when you really, really, truly come back home, even begin to come back home to our own selves, then all these questions really disappear, whether the disease is going to come back, not come back, whether I'm going to survive, not survive. Really, they don't matter at all. They won't matter if there is slowly a true coming back home. Because that itself is so fulfilling that one can live day by day, moment by moment. That's enough. And today I am able to be functional. Today I am able to, you know, take care of myself. That's enough. That's a big step for me. That's enough. So bringing again all the being to the present moment. Ego can't be in the present moment. So, uh, Monika, then uh, uh, what I face challenge is that, uh, that there is this uh, deeper knowing that, you know, everything is okay. And there is actually a lot of solace in remembering the mother and being in this moment. But uh, sometimes I feel I'm missing on actions needed at that time. 
you know like I, i'm not talking about my personal agenda where i am like responsible like you know children or anything i feel i'm so uh, uh you know like innately there is this peace there is a solace and actually being with the mother helps me to you know like be calm uh, uh but at the same time i sometimes feel you know ki maybe i have to act more and maybe you know uh, thinking worrying you know makes me act in that direction you know where it's needed ki are ye karna hai maybe you know i should like contact this person or do that or do that and then the worry start you know i'm not able to balance both and i have done it for a long time and i feel that uh, i was uh, you know doing uh, i was so uh, eased off and easy that i missed on acting earlier so ye nahi samajh aa raha mujhe ki ye balance yeah. kaise rakhu so i think this, this reminds me of uh, a question somebody has I had asked Jetsun Ma. I think I may have shared it on the group also. I can't remember. So somebody had asked that how to make this balance. Exactly the same question that you are sharing. That uh, when we sit quietly in meditation, you know, many a times we go into a quietness, like a peacefulness. Where uh, what about the right actions to be taken? And that's where she had clarified that. they will get taken it is impossible that they won't get taken because when you are truly in touch with your inner being it's not a dumb inner being you know it's it's just not like you know peaceful as a cow and no knowing nothing what to do sitting on the garbage and being okay with that so it's not like that it's uh, she was sharing that it's a luminous peace it's luminous emptiness it's clarified peace so it's full of clarity of mind it's not a dumbness that we are sinking into when we are remembering the mother you know when we are being with the mother it's an active being with the mother not passive so in that active being with the mother there can be a constant aspiration that mother please you know if you doubt it you know then keep aspiring constantly that uh, kindly you know show me the right way because i don't know the right way i don't know whether my action will harm hurt or benefit so please show me please guide me you know and if there is a constant aspiration like that a constant being with the mother i think it's impossible that you are not guided from within when the action needs to be taken it's impossible that cannot happen it's not a like a passive peaceful state of being it's not lethargy when the right action needs to be taken right decision needs to be taken you are guided from within you know you just do it yeah i think yeah, i get that because parallelly things are being directed guided ye bhi ho raha hai hmm. i i know but that is where i feel the ego is playing a role you know like the ego just tries to find those small small cracks gaps and it tries to just you know confuse you yeah mm, yeah and also we have to see that we will from time to time uh, we will compare ourselves with how we were living earlier which is mm. a very chaotic way of living worrying mm. you know with anxiety all the time thinking 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 being used mm. up by thinking so now that is not happening so many mm. a times this doubt can arise that oh what is wrong with me you know <laughs> i am not thinking <laughs> <laughs> it can arise actually you know am i going dumb <laughs> you know yeah am i and not thinking I enough think, yeah. yeah yeah but you know also uh, i remind myself uh, that when i verbally say that you know i align my will with your will that trust also needs to be there because uh, even there the conflict happens mm. i think you know mm. like uh, uh, surrender mm. you know like surrender is such a mental thing i get that Mm. to actually move to you know like uh, your will is my will you know mm. like mm. because somewhere with your uh, egoic uh, you know like uh, roles mm. and all you do tend to like uh, feel insecure like mm. Okay, mm. you know like and uh, then that uh, andar se jo voice mm. aati hai na ki everything mm. will be fine and all mm. is well and mm. things are fine to that's when i uh, you know i'm reminded that uh, you know to 
just surrender and remember that uh, the greater will will be done you know so mm. have solace in that also in your journey so yeah true and also i think along with because what mostly worries us is our either children or you know relatives family you know friends so people who are close to us it's not the world who is because of which we are worried worried mostly most of us so i think uh, one thing which brings a lot of solace is that just like i am a child of the mother my children are also children of the mother and we are all on the same level like we are not superior inferior although with respect to age and all that it may appear that i am the superior one or you know the more knowledgeable one and they are not the knowledgeable one but when we know that all of us are on the same ground we are all children of the mother then there is just one ground that we are sharing and wouldn't she know better and if she is directing me wouldn't she direct all of us you know so there i think lots of solace again can come and the worrying can take a back seat yeah yeah but i think why hota na ye ye uh, in this journey uh, i feel that there are moments when you know you you feel that okay uh, i'm not able to put it in words but uh, the uneasiness you know like uh, with challenges increasing and you know mm. whether i'm doing the right thing you know like and i, I am thinking that mother is guiding me but mm. then i why bol you know abhi tak it's not, not as strong as like whether you know this is right or, or is it my ego or, you know to actually differentiate between that and then i go by my inner solace and i am always feeling peaceful andar so you know like under say i feel ki nahi all is well and you know uh, but uh, fir there is this layer where things get uh, you know uh, uh, they are not as easy as uh, i don't know i, I think it's ego or uh, maybe the uh, world or interaction that you know you engage in and that, that does cause a turmoil and then the more you interact with people the more you feel confused but, yeah yeah you know that inner voice is something else to ye jo bol rahi hu you know that it goes on <laughs> pata hai humko pata and bhi nahi lagta hai i don't we... interact yeah oh. yeah actually we don't get to know that even when we are not actively creating images about how life should move on you know either for myself hmm. or my children we may actively not be creating any images so actively you would see you would look into yourself you would say no i am not creating any images about how my life should look or my children's life should look but you would see that in the background you know mm. in the background there are images according to which when life does not happen i yeah, feel yeah, insecure yeah. i feel insecure i feel threatened absolutely. yeah absolutely yeah so this unease that you were sharing no i think it's all of us we taste it from time to time and it can be just a new opening into again a leap into unknown because there is some image to which i am sticking and that is when life is not happening according to that then it's bringing me unease i may not actually consciously be aware of that image but if i really you know come to myself i would know that yes there is an image either an image of oh, a yes. health, healthy yeah, body yeah. or uh -huh. image of yeah yeah बेसिक बेसिक मतलब समझ आता है कितना सारा इमेज जैसे जो यू नो लाइक समवेयर यू नो दैट इट डजेंट मैटर एंड येट इट सम लेवल इट मैटर्स यू नो लाइक एजुकेशन एकेडमिक थी वो हाउ इट जस्ट वर्क्स यू डाउन या व्हाट विल हैपन व्हाट विल हैपन लाइक या बिकॉज़ देयर आर इमेजेस यू नो वी डोंट इवन नो दोस इमेजेस आर ऑपरेटिंग यस दैट्स ट्रू यस Yes. and it takes you like uh, no usually you are at ease and all and suddenly i don't know what happens and yeah. it just it just takes over and it troubles you and then again you're fine and then so this this battle goes on mm -hmm. <laughs> and you know ev at every trouble or at every unease that's the opportunity that we have you know that oh you know i'm still sticking to someone i may not get to know what i'm sticking to you know because it yeah. will be just too hidden yes, so yes, yes. i may not get to know 
but the only thing is that i can just bring my mind back to the present moment and you know be here be now you know with the mother because every time oh, we yeah, won't yeah. be able to get to the yeah. root of uh, the image where is the image hiding yeah, yeah. true 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 and uh, actually it is happening and it's all like you ponder you understand that uh, oh one more thing you're clinging to one more mm. but you know uh, it takes time by the time you uh, get to the root of mm. it you do get to the root of it and mm. then you have to let go but us tab tak aapke do teen din chale gaye drain hone mein no but <laughs> these these two three days are actually don't think that they are a waste they are you know help helping on the path so those two three days are not waste because after three days you <laughs> have a little realization फिजिकल ड्रेन बोल रही हूँ मतलब वो हेड एक हो रहा है वो यू नो हैवीनेस हो रहा है वो सब भी मतलब दो तीन दिन वो उसमें चले गए फिजिकली आल्सो यू नो लाइक तो वो समझ आता है फिर कि यू नो यू आर डूइंग द राइट थिंग एंड येट यू नो फिजिकली यू बिलीव डिप्लीटेड बाय द ईगो बैटल्स एंड या 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 ये तो कंटिन्यूअस रहेगा इट विल हैपन इट विल हैपन यस यस आई थिंक दैट्स व्हाट वी वर टॉकिंग इन द बिगिनिंग ऑफ द प्यूरिफिकेशन एस्पेक्ट yeah and slowly yeah, dekho yeah. Uh, so much of unease that's why we get propelled to more purity in life because we see how True. much uh, impurity brings so much of trouble it does clinging brings so much of trouble begging brings so much of trouble yeah, <laughs> yeah it takes you by surprise yeah that's true mm-hmm. it's a long battle yes but we we can again and again as you know we have to really relax again and again in the present moment and don't worry that much but knowing that yeah journey is long for each one of us but still there are so many things we can be thankful for so <laughs> settling in there absolutely yeah. absolutely yeah, yeah. But just this situation we've been talking about, one of the my favorite ways to just like relax or trust is, uh, it's actually one of my screensavers on my phone. It's like, uh, I, I think it's either Sherbin or the mother. Um, surrenders is the decision taken to hand over the responsibility of your life to the divine. And I often read that or I just repeat it, you know, when I'm like, okay, now I've really um, been running in enough circles. It's just... Just like surrender is the decision taken to hand over the responsibility of my life to the divine, you know, and often it allows me to chill a little bit <laughs> and let go, which is good. Yeah, yeah, beautiful. Yeah, beautiful, very nice. But you know, when it's you know it, it's your truth, then mm-hmm. it's not uh, the truth uh, that uh, everybody around uh, still relates to. and then to cater to them while you believe in something else you know to waha pe calibrate karna that becomes like uh, you know because you can't see your uh, children feeling so troubled we you know that it doesn't matter but fir bhi wo wo to itne trouble se guzar rahe and then it takes over it takes you know toll on you ki and you you know okay it's okay but they have this whole plan and you know things that uh, you know matter to them and तो वहां पे फिर यू डोंट अंडरस्टैंड वेदर यू टू एक्ट और यू टू बी यू नो लाइक विद दैट सोलेस एंड यू नो तो या आई थिंक इट्स ऑल हैपनिंग फॉर यू टू गो डीपर बट या इट्स अ इट्स अ कलेक्टिव जर्नी ना इट्स नॉट योर्स अलोन सो एब्सोल्युटली एंड आई थिंक थ्रू अदर्स आई गेट टू नो ऑफ माय ओन स्टेबिलिटी बिकॉज़ इफ देयर वुड बी uh you know no triggers from outside there would be no weak points from outside then i can think oh you know mera to ho gaya you know i am done but when there are still things mm. happening in the outer so called domain whether children parents whatever which really sway me away there i get to know of my own stability okay hai kahan pe kitne pani mein hai kitne pani mein nahi hai so there i think it's all like we are all helping each other way back home yeah yeah and it's it's good to have such weak points outside because they are the benchmarks you know 
that okay you know i am still shaky <laughs> i thought i was not shaky but see i am shaken so badly so it's like a and good also, grounding yeah yeah but also your faith you know your uh, faith is tested because uh, to talk to them with so much conviction and faith अब समझ आता है कि कुछ तुम में भी हिल रहा है मतलब तुम तुम्हारा ही वो स्ट्रेंथ नहीं है इतना जो उनको मतलब आप इतने कन्विक्शन से बोल ही नहीं पा रहे बिकॉज यू फील इनसेक्योर्ड अबाउट यू नो व्हाट टू सजेस्ट एंड तो तब समझ आता है कि आप यू आर नो वेयर यट यू नो लाइक यू सो कंफ्यूज़ बिल्कुल एंड दैट्स वाई यू नो दीज इंटरक्शन विद अदर पीपल और इन वर्ल्डली इंटरक्शन दैट्स वाई दे आर इम्पोर्टेंट क्योंकि घर बैठे बैठे अगर आप सिर्फ यू नो इट्स यू आर जस्ट इन योर ओन वर्ल्ड एंड रीडिंग अ फ्यू बुक्स एंड नॉट रियली रियली गोइंग आउट इन टू इंटरक्शन तो वी डेवलप मेनी हेलुसिनेशन अबाउट अवर सेल्स नॉट इवन वॉन्टिंगली वी डू बट वेन वी गेट इन टू द बैटल फील्ड एंड आई एम नॉट सींग दैट देर इज ओनली बैटल फील्ड आउटसाइड ऑफकोर्स देर इज इन साइड नो बट देन वी गेट टू नो कि कुछ हुआ ही नहीं it was just an image portrayed in front of me and uh, really you know i am still so shaky still tremble at any question so, which is opposing to my belief and the mind is not yet open yeah. but you know the sri aurobindo says the mind yeah. has to be so vast so supple so can't take opposing point of views at all <laughs> absolutely nee so because i have believed in you know like every day live happily and you know don't worry and it has worked for me my life is fine and also this is what i am telling my children since childhood but their journey is very difficult and then you know i just it, it makes me confused ki you know main to ye believe karti hu aur fir ye unko bhi and somewhere when they have grown up with that they find this journey outside difficult because आपने जो बोला ये मैच नहीं हो रहा यू नो दिस इज नॉट व्हाट यू आर फेसिंग इन द रियल लाइफ सो समवेयर टू स्टिल गिव देम फेथ कि ट्रस्ट कि दिस इज द यू नो इट विल बी फाइन कनेक्ट टू द इनर वर्ल्ड एंड यू नो ईच डे लाइक ट्राई टू बी हैप्पी एंड ऑल बट दे फेस अ डिफरेंट बैटल एंड देन यू वंडर वेदर यू हैव टू यू नो टेल देम और जस्ट लेट इट बी देयर जर्नी Or what to do as a parent? What action to take? You know, for so there is no. So that is where the crown goes. You know, the crown of parenthood. The crown where you think that you know it all and you can suggest. You can just have that faith and goodwill, and yet you know that you know uh, this was my learning, and they will have some learning that is important for them. They, it's their journey. So <laughs> yeah, that. Cool. Yeah, and I think through our children, we also open so much. so anything which is expanding our minds everything anything which is opening our hearts no matter it may be troublesome but it's good i think it's good really and when heart is opening it hurts it's not easy to open our heart we mostly are living in shelled hearts we don't know but when we have to open our heart to something which is so opposing in my point of view and yet i have to be with an open heart then the pain that we go through we get to know that how much my heart was closed because now i have to accept this accept this accept this it's paining me yes i have to accept that 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 you know so it keeps on expanding and i think it's really worth all the pain what you know our kids go through uh, because it expands their minds it is good for them also and parallelly it is opening our shelled hearts so it's good for us and that doesn't come without pain somehow at this point in our life it will pain when the heart will open but it's a good pain and i don't know is also a very good space to be <laughs> that especially with children you know we think that we know so what you were sharing that the crown of parenthood shatters away you know that i am the mother see but you have to know that oh no i am the child there is divine mother up there so or here so yeah so it's good to uh, have nothing no image to protect no now that crown is gone so what to protect good bhala hua jo meri gagri phooti nee nee true true yeah
बट ये सारा प्रोसेस में तो बहुत यस टर्मोइल टर्मोइल है या बिल्कुल क्लैरिटी है टर्मोइल है फिर क्लैरिटी टर्मोइल या या फॉर ईच वन ऑफ अस यू कैन बी श्योर सो या इट्स ऑल गुड यस so any last comments anyone before we end so with we, uh, we'll take this much uh, next time page 18 we'll begin from on one side we'll start from there and maybe take rest of it next time yeah. but this is all i think this is really very good i think this kind of pain is so auspicious that in this lifetime if we have an opening kind of pain which is opening our hearts we know that it's no matter how much it is troubling us or people around us it will lead to something open wide vast and expansive uh, this much is really enough we are really blessed to have this opening within one lifetime and many many openings to come yeah all right so thank you everyone thank you for joining and we'll take the rest next time thank you thank you take yeah, care thank you everyone thank take you bye bye thank you happy diwali bye. happy diwali bye bye bye, bye.